Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to mine altcoins with NVIDIA GPUs in Ubuntu. Uh, we'll jump right in and go straight ahead to download CC Miner. Uh, CC Miner is an application which is also really popular on Windows and it can be used to mine many of the different uh, coins that are available. Uh, what we're going to do is we download the uh, source code tar.gz file of the, uh, any release that you like. Um, and we save it into the folder where we want to unpack it later on. Uh, then inside that folder we right click it and click extract here to extract the file. Now we don't need the tar anymore, it can be deleted. Inside CC Miner um, we go inside the folder and open the terminal. And uh, the only thing you really have to worry about is that your CUDA toolkit is installed. I would recommend to use CUDA toolkit 7.5 or 8. Um, both should work just fine. Then once you're sure that your CUDA is installed correctly, uh, I'm not including it in this tutorial because there's many others out there which explain it nicely. Um, so once you have done that step, uh, you open the tutorial. Uh, <laughs> You open a terminal window inside the folder and type in dot slash build and then uh, hitting tab to autocomplete should already show you the dot build uh, script. Uh, you press enter and now the script is gonna make sure the installation is running for you. Um, while this installation is ongoing, uh, it might take a few minutes. Uh, we can go back into uh, your browser and pick a coin that we actually want to mine. Uh, in this case, if we have a quick lo look at coin market cap, uh, I'm gonna pick uh, LibreCoin to mine. <coughs> um, LibreCoin is, I think, one of the most uh, promising coins that you can mine at the moment, um, with the reason that it's, uh, I think, going in the direction of the future for online content. Um, it has the potential, I believe, to combine Netflix, YouTube, uh, Torrent, Spotify, all in one um, by having a distributed system which uh, keeps the media and the content connected to the creator and has a direct, uh, essentially a feedback loop of profit which goes to the content creator which makes everything much more transparent and fair. Um, so once you have picked a coin that you like by the way it's not the only one uh, there's you can see all these folders inside your uh, cc miner folder uh, they all represent uh, essentially different algorithm um, that you can mine with and the different algorithms correspond to different coins uh, you just google around a little bit what is there and what you like um, but I think with mining uh, on Ubuntu, uh, you should have a slightly different strategy than on Windows, because in Windows you can use NiceHash uh, or a similar service to always mine the most profitable coin. But in Ubuntu, I would say you should mine the coin which is uh, the most likely to be profitable in the future, um, with the reason that there's currently no nice uh, coin switching algorithm on Ubuntu, at least that I know of. And um, I think I think you want to just mine as much as you can of a particular coin that you believe will be huge in the future. And uh, LibreCoin fits that description for me. So uh, what we want to do is we select a mining pool for this. Uh, luckily, Supernova has a, a Libre mining pool um, available. Uh, if you don't know, Supernova is one of the bigger uh, mining pools. They have many different coins available and in this case, uh, well, we're going to use it for LibreCoin. So we're going to uh, either make an account or log into your account and then we go to My Worker, Edit My Workers and uh, you can just add a bunch of workers here. What you write there is pretty much doesn't matter um, with the exception that you want to know what you write there so just make sure you remember well you can always go back here to look it up um, in this case I've set up two workers since I have two graphics cards or two uh, NVIDIA GTX 970s in my system and I want to have them uh, mining individually um, so by doing this uh, that's possible um, now let's have a look back at our program which has done installing meanwhile 
and you know that it has installed successfully if there's a CC minor file inside this folder. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we create a new document and we call this mine single gpu.sh and we're going to use this uh, and edit this file to uh, mine with a single GPU, which is, I think, relevant to most of you out there. And after we've done the explanation for a single GPU, we'll look into mining uh, with multiple GPUs. So uh, the first thing to do is, of course, put the hashtag exclamation mark slash bin slash bash, which is used by Linux internally to know how to execute your script. Then inside there, we tell Linux to run the CC miner file, which is uh, this file over here and uh, we tell it which algorithm to, to mine, in this case Libri. Uh, then on the minus O you put in the uh, Stratum server address uh, which you can get from your mining pool. In this case you can see it's uh, well the, the Libri uh, supernova one. Then uh, the next step you have to do is you copy and paste your username and worker. So that's uh, what you can find here. Um, that's your username and the password is irrelevant it usually gets ignored by uh, the mining pools however in supernova you have the ability to specify uh, a difficulty for the mining but uh, well in this case I like to leave it set to auto so what you see in the screen now is the simplest setup for uh, essentially mining and uh, now we just save this file and we go back into the terminal which is already in the mining folder and if we now type dot slash uh, mine oh, single oh as you can see it doesn't auto complete since uh, we forgot to do something um, we have to make the script that we just created executable uh, to do so we go right click properties permissions and we check the little execute button now that it's executable, we can go back into our terminal and we type in mine and then tab for autocomplete and now it should be there. And uh, if you press enter, uh, it should start mining away. Um, what you can see is that in this case, uh, what I call the single GPU is essentially just making use of all the GPU power available. Um, but I'm not a big fan of that because now the whole computer is gonna be super laggy. So to give us more control, um, I'm gonna set up also, uh, I'm gonna create a new file here, a new document, mine multi.sh, um, by which I denote uh, a script which runs on both GPUs but controls their uh, essentially mining intensity individually um, and for this we use this script uh, what you can see here is that we open a genome terminal uh, in a new tab and then we execute in that tab what is in this command here uh, the command itself is telling uh, the genome terminal to run bash with another command behind it which is this uh, as you can see, see, this is almost the same command that we gave uh, before on a single GPU or for, with automatic device recognition. But now we add the uh, flag minus D0 to determine or to tell the script that you only want to run on device 0. Um, your G graphics cards are counted in integers starting from 0. So if you have two graphics cards, most likely they're denoted by D0 and D1 unless you change something. Um, so further, that's the first part, and then in the second part there's another minus tab which opens a second tab in the genome terminal, and in there we also mine LibriCoin, but we also add a minus i flag, which is intensity. So what this does is it reduces the uh, power that is dedicated to mining on the uh, device 1. Um, and on device 0 we didn't specify such a flag so it will be determined automatically which is equivalent to maximum load usually. Now that we have this set up um, we can save the file and make it executable again under right click properties permissions allow execution and we go back to our terminal in that folder and we run the dot slash mine 
delivery variant. Find multiple. So uh, what you can see here is what has happened is in the terminal that we executed the script, uh, nothing else happened. But it opened a new terminal with two tabs inside, one for each graphics card. And you can see that the second graphics card is set to an intensity of 15 as we wanted. And the other one is just uh, plowing away at maximum capacity. So um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you set up uh, your mining. I will put the links and the scripts into the video description. And I hope this helped you um, well install and set up mining on your Ubuntu machine. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, thank you very much for watching.